basically loosen this one and you can see it's starting to come the question is now we have uh, like hmm, six seven threads left is it loose enough to fix the new ah oh, i think so i think it might be loose enough yeah let's loose and there we have it the bolts the second one already it's uh, the other side and actually i forgot to uh, put on the, the plastic part so i'm gonna do this fast yep it's good that we see some uh, mistakes in these videos because we're only human just uh i wrote it down because there was another customer here and i had to uh, talk with him and blah 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 and then you start to uh, forget things so we'll uh, click it in um oh i see hmm there's a little tap that goes in there oh will be here i think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so the little uh the tap here goes in uh under the uh, the holder the shock holder yeah so that's uh back in place nice 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 and the last uh, the last video with the, the same mercedes we uh, replaced this one because this was uh, making noise because of the broken shock on this side of I suppose eventually everything uh, breaks when something begins to rattle yes so now we have this one uh, there is no way to uh, misplace it because we have the tab here we're gonna rebuild it up, 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 up. Kind of strange that they don't give these rubbers in with with the kits. Just a uh, aluminum part. Oh yeah. Just slide it up. Right to the top. Slide it up. Never go. That was over there. Yep, and there we go. No way to uh, to miss. So let's have uh, the rubber on there. Yes, cool. Now <clears throat> let's throw away these ones. Up. And. to uh, get this one out be careful pretty rusty yep pretty rusty uh, shock already of course not that old we take the new one If you want uh, the port number, oh, over here. Yep. This is the port number for uh, the S205, the station wagon version. But there are a lot of differences, uh, different options. Um, if you want a chassis number, I, uh, for this one I can give it to you. Uh, comment below, I'll do that. And if you have a different uh, chassis number, uh, which of course you have 
I can look uh, I can look up the ports for you. It's not a, a big deal. Yep, so this one spins, you can do whatever you like with it. I'm gonna take off the strap here. It's just for uh, not uh, hitting this one, the other seal. Uh, for the ports guy. Port guys. Put it back in the, the moose. <laughs> The moves in the plastic. Up. You'll see. Um, oh, make sure the rubber is on. Is good on it. Yep. Has little uh, alignment holes. So this is um, the stop of the spring. Yes. Yeah. Come so. Alrighty. Yep. So we we have here difficult to show perhaps. Stop of the spring should be against the the end of the spring here. And the other oh, stay on there. Good boy. Yes you are. Yes you are. Yep. Yep. We're good to go. Uh, this is the new one also with a, a stop right here so uh, we'll place it on here like this and this should meet those parts, parts should meet yep it's a little bit tight it's a little bit tight I will be able to put on the bolts with a little uh, a little bit more of a turn This is better. So the new uh, nut goes on there. I'm gonna use my uh, tube wrench to put it on there. Ali, 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 ali. It happens. It happens. So we start again, no problem. It was not very good on there. Okay. Yeah, now it's going. Now it's going. Yep. So we're gonna tighten it. We have to make sure the stops are in place. Yeah, that's perfect. That's also pretty perfect. Darn close. And now perfect, so voila. There you go. The bolt is going on smoothly. Yep. And since this is the front pointing towards you, we will have to make sure that uh, for our ease, um, this lines up a bit. And yeah. Was mounted perfectly like this it's the same uh, which side to choose so we have yeah almost the same uh, exact points 